Hey guys, welcome back to The Carbon Connection. Thanks for tuning in to another episode with me, Yasser Ismail. We're back with my E92-335i. We've given the Grom Media the M135 back, and we're gonna be doing a cosmetic mod today, which I'm gonna to attempt to DIY. So after a little bit of convincing from Fury at Ren Sport, I decided to get a hold on some E92 M3 mirrors. Um, I did consider getting just the mirror covers that would actually replicate the look of an M3 mirror. But after seeing what was out there, I wasn't too happy and I decided that OEM E92 M3 mirrors were the way to go. The set that I got my hands on were initially Le Mans Blue. I had to have the covers resprayed into Alpine White. So yeah, let's get down to the DIY and I'll take you guys through the process. I'm sort of eating my words with this mod because initially I told Fury I don't have an M3 so I'm not going to try and make my car look like an M3. But yeah, I decided that the M3 mirrors do look good on the E92. So here we go. So after doing a little bit of research on a few forums, uh, most of them said that you have to remove the door panel to get to the re mirror removal. Um, but I found one guy who posted an explanation as to how you can do this without removing the door panel and all you have to do is remove the tweeter, um, the tweeter speaker that is, uh, to get through to the bolts that attach the mirror to the door. Okay, so it's pretty simple. All you have to do is lift the tweeter upwards and while you're lifting it upwards, gently pull the tweeter towards you as well. So here's the tweeter. And I'm going to try and show you guys how to remove this without having to obviously remove the entire door panel just to get to the mirror. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to get the tweeter out. I'd suggest you do this with the window open. Pretty simple. It's just held on by one clip, which I'll show you in a second. So if we take a closer look, the tweeter's belt basically held in over here by this little clip over here. So you just lift it upwards and pull towards you and that should come right off. So your mirror is going to be held to the door by three different uh, 30 hex bolts. So there's one here, one here, and then one under the rubber cover here. It's pretty simple to just move this rubber out of the way. After you've removed the rubber or just moved it out of the way, you'll access the third bolt, which is behind. Next up, you're going to remove all three bolts. Like I mentioned, it is a hex 30 bolt. I'd suggest loosening all of them and then holding onto the mirror before you obviously loosen the last one so your mirror doesn't fall. Okay, so I managed to remove the OEM mirror, pretty simple. And as you can see, it has a three pin plug connection in here. Let me see if I can show you what it looks like. And that's what the plug looks like. Uh, it has two little tabs that you've to pull together um, before pulling the mirror out. So just make sure that while you're holding it in there, you can get your fingers in there and push them together and it should pop right out. As you can see, the M3 mirrors have the exact same connection. So I shouldn't have any issues with regards to functionality, etc. So the M3 
3 mirror is successfully installed with 3 bolts. Remember I said there is one behind here. One thing to take note of, there is a rubber on the outside. You just need to make sure that it doesn't get pinched underneath the mirror when you're installing this. So just make sure that's lined up nicely. And then we'll go ahead and reconnect the plug. Next up, we're just going to go ahead and reinstall the tweeter. Just remember to push the rubber back in here. It should sort of just click into place. There we go. Let's sort it out. Then I'm just going to pop the tweeter back in. So after getting the plug back in, I realized that I made a small mistake. I forgot to pull these rubber tabs out or make sure that they actually came through when I was installing the mirror, but I managed to pull them out. Okay, so I've reinstalled the tweeter. Like I mentioned, it is just held together with one clip. Just gonna make sure that it's nice and tight. And there we go, that's sorted out. So like I mentioned earlier, I did buy a mirror that was actually Le Mans blue. I had to have the cap repainted in Alpine white. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fit that. I'm gonna go ahead and install the other side and then I'll show you guys some before and after videos. pretty much sums up today's video thanks so much for watching i hope my diy tutorial helps you guys in the future if you guys are obviously thinking of changing your e92 or e90 mirrors uh, to m3 style mirrors if you haven't done so already please consider subscribing to the channel your guys support really really does go a long way for me thanks so much see you in the next one